My first cultural public building was very much a reuse of an existing building. When we were starting the work, we were fascinated by all these courtyard buildings in Budapest, including one called the House of Seven Courtyards, which these are all plans of buildings. And we just enjoyed the fact that the building we were working on was like that. And I think probably for us, the most important drawing that we did was that. The first day we visited the building, I just thought it was absolutely wonderful. And it had such a magical quality of being a hidden away place in the city and then unfolding these big spaces that it seemed so suitable for the idea of a building about cinema and about the sort of magic of the, the, the sort of magic world of, uh, of cinema where, where you're brought into another world. And our project, in a way, is very simple. It was about working out what we needed to remove in order to make it work for its new purpose and what we needed to add. And the, so it was a kind of subtra subtraction and addition which became, became a kind of method that we employed. And old buildings are always like that, I think. They, they, you, know, you have to listen to them, you kind of talk to them. They're, they're an agent in the process of making the new design. You cannot just say, here I am, I'm designing this thing and I've got the brief and I've got the client. The building is part of the conversation and I really like that. And I think in a way it makes it easier because you start with something that is clear, has a very strong physical character and presence. This image of Gordon Matter Clarks we really like is where in Paris when they were knocking down the buildings to build the Pompidou Centre, before they knocked them down fully he made this amazing project where he cut through all these houses one after the other and somehow the integrity of the houses remained and yet his cut also remains as a thing in itself. So we were thinking about this idea of making cuts through the old building and what you find and what kind of stone and brick walls and then using concrete to patch up and strengthen the piers at the bottom. We finished the school in 2016, St. Angela's College, on this most remarkable place on the steepest hill in Ireland, probably. It was certainly the steepest urban hill, and it's behind that pink wall. Coincidentally, the, the blue on the left is a boys' school. Um, and quite recently, we got a phone call from the boys' school saying, we like what you've done across the road in the girls' school. Will you do something like that for us now? So it's the first time, so it's sort of weird, pink and blue and boys and girls, and we're doing that project now. That set of drawings at the top are the four buildings which we retained, which have the white fronts. In the middle is, this, is the landscape that we built connecting them and then at the bottom is the old and new together and how it worked. But I mean, a place like this would, doesn't, you know, it's about the existing buildings. It's about finding a way of using these buildings in this place. It took nearly 20 years to get the project done because a lot of people thought it was kind of crazy to spend money on this downtown site. We think that the culture of a school of architecture is a culture of studio life and that's what we really were trying to think about how people work together in groups and how you learn more maybe from other students than you ever do from people teaching you and you need to be in there all day working on that. Materials seem so important to you and your work. Do you think about uh, perhaps the embodied carbon aspect of yeah. it. I mean, I know a, a lot of saving energy yeah. is about that operational yeah. use. So I think we have to keep studying the relationship between whole of life cost and the energy that is expended in the making of the material. But obviously it's a huge um, responsibility that architects have now to, to really work to help to reduce the a responsibility and an opportunity as well because you're in such a position of um, influence. 